my center point series. This is number six. I'm using the loops here, and they're hanging at a medium height, equal, just a little bit higher or lower than my hips. I'm going to walk forward with them on my arms and wear them like a harness or straps. Then I'm just going to go onto my tippy toes. The wider my legs, the more uh, balance you get. So the higher I am here, the easier it is for me to hold this position, okay? So you can choose. I'm going to bring my hands together to uh, engage my chest muscles and also make sure that I'm really holding onto these firmly. If you wanted to make this harder without going lower, you'd bring your feet together, but that's very challenging, so a little wider might help you out. I'm going to go back a little bit, take about two foot steps back, and try to hold that. So this is a progressive series. Now I'm going to go another two foot steps back, and I'm lower, which is harder. Again, using a little bit of uh, elbow grease, a little squeeze here, I could add some tiny little pelvic thrusts to get the core engaged even more. Going back a little bit more. Oh. Now I'm all the way in center point, and this is hard just holding it by itself. It also gets uncomfortable, so here's a little trick. I'm gonna tap down, oh, relief, and slide these down to the other side of the armpit, down the arm a little bit as if you were wearing an armband. Then I'm gonna squeeze my arms down. It's a little bit more comfortable. It's also a little bit more challenging and brings in the front delts, uses a little bit more of the upper chest as well. I'm gonna bring those arms in. I'm gonna, I'm gonna even use my fingertips if I need to, scooch my feet back. Oh, and there we go. Now that's an even harder plank, but it's not so uncomfortable. It's not so easy though. Wonderful, all of them are great for anyone who's got shoulder, elbow, wrist, or hand issues. I don't know how much longer I can hold this. So let's move on, shall we? I'm gonna take my knees down and go into a child's pose. Variation, hands behind the head. Oh, that feels good. Nice chest stretch, lower back stretch. sure you're not being pulled too far back with those elbows so that you don't want to hurt your shoulders. So you got to keep pressing down in the arms a little bit and that's also how you come out. Pressing down a little bit, coming forward, pressing down to come out. Oh, that's good. Now I'm going to slide these down to my wrists, fingers together, stretch back in even extend a little forward and I'm going to do some straight arm lat press down so my 